This tutorial will walk you through running example cases on different operating systems within OpenFast. Watch the Installing OpenFast video for instructions on how to install before proceeding with these tests. OpenFast uses regression tests to ensure that developers do not unintentionally change the code when adding new features, as well as to test new features as they are added. These tests are mostly used by developers, but they can also serve as example cases. We will use them here to make sure OpenFast was installed correctly on your system and to demonstrate running the code. Navigate to the OpenFast GitHub page to find these regression tests. We will be using files from this repository for this test, so you will need to download files to your local machine. Do this by clicking on the green Code button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and selecting Download Zip. This will download a compressed folder of all the files in this repository. Once the download is complete, find the zip file and extract it. This will most likely be in your Downloads folder. Now, we will copy specific files to the location where you will be running simulations. You can create a new folder in a preferred location for this. For example, we will create a folder called OpenFast underscore Sims in the base directory. During this tutorial, we will be running two example cases. The first is the AOC underscore WST test. In your Downloads folder, navigate to R test main, glue codes, OpenFast, AOC underscore WST. Copy this entire folder to the location where you will be running simulations. In your new AOC underscore WST folder, select and delete all files ending in .sum, .ech, .log, .out, and .outb. This is not necessary for running the simulation, but OpenFast generates these files, so it's helpful to make sure they are generated when we run the code. The remaining files in this folder are inputs needed for OpenFast to run. However, this particular case requires a few other inputs that are contained in a different folder, so navigate back to the rtest main folder in your downloads and select rtest main, glue codes, OpenFast, AOC. Copy this folder to the same location you place the AOC WST folder. We will now proceed to running the simulation. The process will differ depending on your operating system type. Starting with Mac, skip forward to Windows chapters later in this video if you are operating on that type of system. To run OpenFast on Mac, first open a terminal window and navigate to the folder containing your input files. This can be done using the ls and cd terminal commands. The ls command lists all files in the current directory. Running this command shows that your custom folder is located in your base directory. Now, you can navigate to this using the cd command, cd openfast underscore sims, or whatever your custom folder is named. Running ls in this folder shows that, as expected, the aoc and aoc underscore wst folders are located here. We will run OpenFast within this folder. First, let's activate the OpenFast conda environment with conda activate openfast underscore env. Run OpenFast using the command OpenFast path to main file input. Here the location of the main file input will be specified after the OpenFast command. The main or top level input file will have a .fst extension and all other input files are called from this one. So, for this case, the main input file is aoc underscore wst dot fst and is located within the aoc wst folder. So, our command will be openfast aoc underscore wst forward slash aoc underscore wst dot fst. Executing this command will run the openfast aoc wst simulation. If the simulation runs correctly, this command will produce some output text ending with openfast terminated normally. Now, we can navigate back to the aoc wst folder within the finder window 
and we see that new.sum.ech, .out, and .outb files have been created. These files contain information about the simulation as well as the outputs. Let's run one more example case. We can delete the AOC and AOC WST folders within your custom location to have a clean start. Now, navigate back to the R Test Main folder in your downloads. Then select R Test Main, Glue Codes, Open Fast, Elliptical Wing underscore OLAF. This time, instead of copying the entire folder, we will copy only files ending in .fst, .dat, and .wnd, which will be 11 files total. Copy those over to your custom folder location. Now, return to the terminal to run this case. This time, running ls reveals that, as expected, the input files are correctly directed in your custom folder, rather than being in a subfolder, which we had in the previous example. To run this simulation, execute the command open fast elliptical wing underscore olaf dot fst. We again specify the location of the top-level input file because it is contained directly in your custom folder, rather than in a subfolder. We only need to type the name of the file after the open fast command. Now, we can navigate back to your custom folder within the finder window, and we can see that .sum, .ech, .out, and .outb files have been created. These files contain information about the simulation as well as the outputs. You can now delete the rtest main folder in your downloads, unless you'd like to practice running more example cases. On Windows systems, we first need to navigate into the folder where your AOC folders are stored. Open a terminal in this folder by selecting File, Open Windows PowerShell, Open Windows PowerShell. You should already be in the correct folder, which in this example is your custom simulation folder. Within PowerShell, type DIR to display the content of the current folder. As expected, the AOC and AOC underscore WST folders are located here. We will now run OpenFast within this folder using the command OpenFast underscore x64.exe path to main file input. Here, the location of the main input file will be specified after the OpenFast command. The main or top level input file will have a .fst extension, and all other input files are called from this one. For this case, the main input file is aoc underscore wst.fst and is located within the aoc wst folder. So our command will be openfast underscore x64.exe aoc underscore wst forward slash aoc underscore wst.fst. Executing this command will run the openfast aoc underscore wst simulation. If the simulation runs correctly, this command will produce some output text, ending with open fast terminated normally. Now, we can navigate back to the AOC WST folder within the file explorer, and we see that new.sum.ech.out and .outb files have been created. These files contain information about the simulation as well as the outputs. Let's run one more example case. We can delete the AOC and AOC WST folders within your custom location to have a clean start. Make sure not to delete the OpenFast program file, OpenFast underscore x64.exe. Now, navigate back to the rtest main folder in your downloads. Then select rtest main, glue codes, OpenFast, elliptical wing underscore OLAF. Instead of copying the entire folder, we will instead copy only the files ending in .fst, .dat, and .wnd, 11 files in total. Copy these files into your custom folder. Once you've completed this, go back to the PowerShell to run this case. This time, running DIR reveals that, as expected, the input files are contained directly in your custom folder, 
rather than being in a subfolder, which was the case in the previous simulation. To run this simulation, execute the command openfast underscore x64.exe elliptical wing underscore olaf dot fst. We again specify the location of the top level input file because it is contained directly in your custom folder rather than a subfolder. We only need to type the name of the file after the OpenFast program file. Now we can navigate back to your custom folder within the file explorer and we see that .sum, .ech, .out, and .outb files have been created. These files contain information about the simulations as well as the outputs. If preferred, you can now delete the R-Test main folder in your downloads unless you'd like to practice running more example cases. Visit github.com to learn more about OpenFast and contact us via GitHub or on NREL's forum space if you have any specific questions.